It's definitely the time of the year to be firing up the heaters. But you know, there is so much more you can do to add warmth to a room. And we've got a room that could use some extra love. This rumpus room is exactly what I'm talking about. It belongs to Antoinette and her two kids and literally has just become a dumping ground. But with a little bit of work, we could make it cool and cosy. Hi, Tara. How are you? I'm just kind of, you know, having a little investigation. I actually have been trying to clean up. It's a good space. What was this initially? So this was actually a single car garage, mm -hmm. which we converted into a toy room when the kids were little. Just as they got an older, I've just found that they're just not coming in here. What so... would you like to see it being used for? I just want it to be a part of, uh, like an extension of the house that we're able to use on a daily basis. They're now asking for sleepovers. I don't have room in their bedroom. So it yeah. kind of has to be a multi-purpose room. Incorporating a bed, maybe like a day bed kind of thing. Maybe mm. a desk, yeah? Mm. Sound good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds perfect. All right, I'm, I'm getting a picture in my head. <laughs> Sounds good. OK, all right, time to start. So first job in any makeover is the clear out. Now, some of this stuff might return, but by then we'll have created some storage. Elsewhere it is. <laughs> Antoinette will be happy to see the carpet gone. It's easiest to remove in strips and always wear a mask. There's years of dust in there. One, two, three. Over the top. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Thank you. you. I need you to skip off now. I think I've made you work hard enough. Sounds I want, good. <laughs> well, I want to surprise you and the kids when you come home. Lighting. Well, it's so often overlooked in a room, but it really can set the tone and become the jumping off point for the whole scheme. Now, one thing that I like to include is a warm metal, something like copper, including just a little bit of this metallic in our room. It's going to give us that warmth and ambience we so need. It's amazing what a big difference a rug can make to a room, especially in winter time. Now, you don't always have to go for colour, anything really bright and exaggerated. You could actually just go for something quite softly textured like this one. I'm always looking for clever cover-ups for rough, less than perfect walls. And one of my favourites is this. It's sometimes known as tongue and groove or V-board. Now, you can get this unprimed or pre-primed and it comes in a couple of different profiles. This one has like a bead in between the boards. It has a slightly more colonial feel. Great if you've got a federation kind of design going on. Whereas this one has a slightly narrower board. It's just a little bit more generic and I think this would suit a wider range of styles. So this is what I'm going for. With the old carpet gone, all has been revealed. This concrete's in a pretty shabby state. So what I'm going to do is transform this entire room with a floating timber floor. better. What I want to do is build a whole wall of storage. So what I'm using here is called Bedford Furniture. Now you can buy this off the shelf from Bunnings. It's an Australian company. I know that's a really rare thing to find these days, but it's a non-profit organisation. All of the proceeds from these pieces go back to the community they help disabled and those with higher needs. I think it's such a good story. is to it. Time 
for the sparky now. We've got some gorgeous new copper wall lights and some ceiling pendants. I really love these. Now under here, there was a lot of kind of odd woodwork going on. So what we've done is just basically hidden it away. A strip of timber and it's been lime washed so it ties in with the floor. And doesn't the VJ board look terrific now it's painted, especially because it's gone over onto this ceiling section. Next job, let's get this day bed built. might leave that end open. Great for the kids. So a sheet of MDF on top becomes the platform, if you like, for our day bed. Well, I've got all this great storage space behind here, so to make it easy to access, it just makes a little trap door. So when you lift up the mattress, you can pop things like suitcases, any old toys, things like that that you want to keep but don't necessarily need to access every day. This is just going to be brilliant storage under here. Now, I could have used ordinary door handles, but instead I've used these click-to-open catches. They just give you a really seamless result. Love it. It's a pretty basic mattress, but it does the job. To make use of this wasted space down here at the end of the day bed, I'm just using ordinary wall-hung kitchen cabinets. You're going to end up with these slightly messy sections here with these screw holes. So to cover that, what you do is you buy end panels. These go over the top, screw them from the inside, gives us a seamless look. So the cupboards are looking good. Now down the other end of the room, we've got a great little study nook for Antoinette and the kids. It's a very simple system. Two drawer units either side with a desk in the middle. Plenty of space here so they can spread out and do all of that hard study. Above the desk, there's loads more storage, including a V-board panel that will hide all the cables from the wall-mounted TV. One way to create instant warmth in a room is to turn off the overhead light and turn up the mood lighting. And you can do this with lamps. I'm going to use this desk lamp in the room. You can also do it with candles. Now, a safer option for candles these days are these battery-powered little ones. You can just flick on the switch. They're made of real wax and they give you a beautiful glow. My plan is to mount them on the wall using tins from the kitchen with holes drilled in them to allow the light to shine out. Then a coat of copper paint and some copper wire to hang them. Now the fun really begins. Lots of layering throughout the room. Just keep that copper pink colour going and just make this room so divinely inviting. Oh, that's looking good. It's already starting to make a change. If you're after a great looking blind that has good thermal properties, you can't go past one of these. It's a zone cellular blind. It has pockets of air within each channel, which basically means it keeps the cold out and the warm inside. Well, I think this place looks fantastic. Let's go see what they think. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be sleeping here tonight. This is gorgeous. Do you remember how it looked before? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, Don't yeah. remind me. <laughs> I could not have done this by myself. This is gorgeous. Just wait until you see this. I've got another surprise. See these curtains? Draw them back. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, it's a desk. Fantastic little desk. And on either side, storage galore that goes all the way up to the ceiling and even drawers. I'm speechless and that's not normal for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, li I re love the colours. Love right. it. Cozy spot. Should we all jump on the cozy bed? Yay! Fun zone, huh? Yay! Might become your favourite room in the house. I think it already has. <laughs> <laughs> I think it already has. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> we did a great job. Great job. Yay! <laughs> Thank you.